Hello and welcome back to Lord Fett Gaming Plays Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition Shadows of Unintime. I'm your host, Lord Fett, and today's Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition Shadows of Unintime video. We're in the interlude. This time we're in the Oasis. We're also going to get ourselves the Desert's Fury. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Neverwinter Night videos like this. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be updated more. Now, I did some little bit of organization with my uh, backpack. As you see, I put some uh, traps in bags. Potions in one bag and more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and supply up off screen. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I want to be able to be prepared for the uh, trip because in the next video we're we'll going inside the tomb. This video we're gonna go ahead and get the Desert Fury and test it out. Yeah, we're gonna have a nice test run. Now I'm gonna go off a uh, spec or say off feet due to the fact that the Desert Fury. It's not a bladed weapon, so blunt weapon. However, the fire damage versus undead is amazing. But first, let's go ahead and uh, check what's going on.
After the battle, I talked to this guy for some uh, lore and valuable information. So we're going to go into this, uh, look like it's a house, but it's really ruins. We'll go ahead and clear out inside the uh, ruins. Oh, that's liable to leave a scar. Now, in order to access this puzzle, you need to activate the rune and destroy all four statues. Once you be able to do that, then the next step will be the puzzle. I'll show you that, but first, combat. I am going to say for a Cobalt, Deacon is holding his own. So here's the deal. You notice these uh, little signs with the X on it. Well, we're grabbing these uh, rune stones. This is a very uh, simple puzzle. All you need to do is make an X. Here's one problem. There'll be one piece missing. And you're going, how are you going to get the last piece? Well, guess what? You're the last piece. So this is a uh, very simple. Just uh, form an X. That's it. Drop down the uh, rune piece. It's heavy, but you just drop it down. After you are uh, done dropping it down, it'll be uh, set in place. Just uh, make that X. You should be all ready to uh, open up that, uh, what do you call it, sarcophagus. And you'll get the Desert's Fury. Now, I heard it's uh, spec base. For some reason, I got a blunt weapon. 
since they thought, yeah, rogue blunt weapon. But you know what? I'm not complaining. You want you want to know why? That weapon is OP. If you are uh, specking that type of weapon, yeah, you're gonna really do some damage in this uh, expansion. I believe, if I remember right, there are a whole bunch of undeads in this expansion from uh, this uh, point on, which is very good. Like I said, I'm going off uh, feet, off spec, but you know what? It's a weapon that's powerful for now until uh, Hordes of the Underdark. So what I'm doing is just setting things up. Uh, don't worry about your uh, companion. It's not like uh, Sir Laura from uh, Divinity Original Sin 2 that triggers everything in sight. Yeah, the little uh, squirrel on the undead uh, cat does that. So now we got the last uh, piece. It's going to be very simple. Just stand there and wait, and voila! Look at that, everyone. We're going to go ahead and open up our uh, box. Desert's Fury. So let me go ahead and tell everybody this. Damage bonus versus undead. 1d8 fire damage. Enchantment plus 2 versus undead. It's a plus enchantment 1 weapon. However, that uh, fire damage against the undead, since we're going to be facing a whole bunch of them, is going to be really useful. You all going to see that in a few moments. And even though it's a little bit of, uh, what do you call it, uh, off-spec weapon, still, it's worth getting. So let me go ahead and heal Deacon up. Come on, Deacon, you're going to get healed up. You helped me out big time. I'm going to go ahead and clear out this uh, area full of zombies. At one point after the quest, when you visit this other uh, tomb, you go to this temple to finish this one quest up to move the story along. That's liable to leave a scar.
That is why you want to get the Desert Fury if you're into melee weapons. Now, if you're more like a caster, yeah, it's not going to be a real problem. Clerics will definitely benefit this the uh, most, I believe. You see, they could cast buff spells, then use Desert's Fury, and kick some serious butt. Well, anyways, clerics always kick some serious butt against the undead. That's like a double bonus, everyone. So, we're going to go ahead and rest up, and we're going to give a recap of uh, today's uh, video, which is going to be really short. First of all, I supplied up. Second, we met the uh, people of the Oasis, helped them out. After that, got the Desert Fury by killing zombies, statues, and solving a puzzle. And for a bonus, I kill every single zombie in the Wasted Zone. Now in our next video, we're going to go ahead and split this entire tomb and take out this uh, one person. Plus, we're going to get out of the Oasis with water. Well, this is it for my Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition Shells at Undertime Interlude Oasis uh, video. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this and do not forget to hit that notification bell to be updated on my videos and more. If you like more videos like I suggested, check out the one on the upper left and on the bottom left if you like YouTube suggestion of my videos.